Previously on Toon. Let's begin our journey through the history of McLaren. From the start, it was a story of success. Balderdash! And how exactly would you know? Because I was there. The real story of McLaren began long ago with a young boy called Bruce McLaren. Whose original racing car is right here on the stage, ladies and gentlemen. A marvel of engineering. It was a heap of junk! A tin can on wheels! Oh, great. You again. Of course, things were a lot different back then. For one thing, the McLaren Technology Center was a tad smaller. Ah. Holy shit! Ah. And there were only three employees. Ah. Bruce. <laughs> me. And a Kiwi called Russell. She's cocked it, mate. Ah, oh, well, back to the drawing board. To me, that tin box had as much chance of hitting 100 miles per hour as our Kiwi had of flying. But Bruce was determined to be a racing driver. Oh, we definitely got it this time, mate. Sorry. I'm not going to stand idly by and let you insinuate that Bruce McLaren was a failure. Failure? The man was a genius. Because he knew you don't succeed without hitting a few bumps along the way. One day, he decided to take an unconventional approach to aerodynamics. the youngest ever winner of a Grand Prix, a title he would hold for over 40 years. So you see, that was Bruce's secret. He made you believe anything was possible. Yes, well, I'm afraid that doesn't include people sitting on the exhibits, sir. Hey, get your hands off me! With pleasure. Oh. Now, who'd like to see a statistical breakdown of Bruce McLaren's racing career? Or I could tell you all my Emerson Fittipaldi story. Oh, nuts. 